Hey guys, it's uh, it's me again, 10 and 2 watch review coming at you with uh, another unboxing today. Uh, another watch came in from the AliExpress June sale earlier this month. Um, this one's an Addy's Dive. Uh, I think it's a, probably a watch a lot of you have been looking at uh, purchasing. So I'm going to unbox it today and have a look at it and see uh, see what we got. So uh, let's not delay. I'll turn the camera around and have a look at it. So um, getting ready to unbox this bad boy here. Uh, it is an Addy's Dive watch, as you guys can see. The case uh, pretty standard for Addy's Dive. Um, but quick wrist watch check. Uh, today we got the San Martin uh, on uh, Subby Homage with the um, Mother of Pearl dial going from black to blue. Awesome watch. Love it. Probably one of my uh, favorite watches that I have in the collection. But um, anyway, moving on to the unboxing. So um, this is a watch I, I saw come up, uh, I don't know, maybe a month and a half ago in AliExpress. And uh, I, I definitely uh, like the looks of it. It reminds me of a Grand Seiko. Um, but I don't think it's a, an homage to a, a Grand Seiko because I don't remember seeing one exactly like this. But um, it might be Addy's Dive own deal, uh, own original design. But... Um, have a look at it and you guys let me know in the comments section if uh, this is a homage of some other watch or is their own design. So, um, yeah, that thing looks pretty darn cool. Um, so, this is the brownish color. It's almost a brownish gray, like a, like a light, maybe tan, I don't know. Um, but excellent um color i think uh different uh than any other watch i have i do have another watch that's sort of brown um but this is the first one of this uh, particular color like this tan color and uh the design on the dial so anyway uh i'm gonna unwrap this thing and see what it looks like with all the wrapping off so mind me i'm a a bit of a butcher when it comes to this stuff <laughs> hopefully i don't like to mess up the watch when i'm taking the stuff off but i am a little harsh with the plastic um buckle pretty pretty simple buckle on this thing anyway this this watch i think i paid like shipped 63 bucks with the sale which man i mean for this watch what you get addy's dive is awesome value so i've got like a field watch from them and another i think um oh what is it uh it's like a seiko homage um from them i believe anyway this is probably my third one i'm not going to take all the wrapping off uh on that side at least yeah anyway this is the watch so i can tell right away the um the watch head looks good um it is a i think it's a 37 millimeter so this is also quartz so it's the um it's the quartz where was it vk uh, don't quote me on this vk 31 or something like that where the um the seconds hand actually ticks four times per second, so it kind of looks like a um, like an automatic, but it's quartz. So you get like the um, reliability of a quartz as far as um, being accurate, um, um, but you get the ticking seconds hand. So like you know, on a quartz, sometimes the the seconds hand doesn't line up with the indices. In this case, since it ticks four times, it does uh, line up so that's nice and it kind of looks a little bit more expensive I would say of a watch when the ticket the second hand ticks so I like that what I can tell you guys already is this bracelet is eh, definitely feels a little on the on the cheap side but it is a you know, I paid 63 bucks for this watch so 
Um, I mean, I'm probably not going to keep it on the bracelet anyway. I'll probably move it over to like a leather strap or something. But um, yeah, this is what it is. Um, I like it so far. Let me uh, see if I can just, I'm not going to size it up, but I'm going to throw on the wrist uh, loosely. So I have a, um, a six and a half inch wrist for you guys reference. Um, so let me throw it on there. And bam, that looks pretty awesome. Oh, 10 and two is where I need to be because that's the aesthetically pleasing position of the watch hands. And uh, yeah, that's kind of the name of my YouTube channel too. So actually it looks good on the bracelet on my uh, six and a half inch wrist with that color. It, it, it doesn't quite match my skin tone, but it's not far off actually. And I think that's good. I mean, it looks good with my eyes. I don't know how it looks on camera. But, um, yeah, good looking watch. Um, I don't think it has loom, but I'm going to fire up the light and see if it, I mean, I'm outside, so we'll see. We'll see what happens, but I'm going to try a loom and see if there's anything on this thing. I don't think there is. Yeah, there's no loom. No loom. Um, it's a dress watch pretty much no date which i like i like the simplicity of it and it looks like the printing on the dial at least on the bottom is raised actually the addy's dive is raised on there so i don't know if you guys can see it but that looks pretty premium um i'm impressed so i think you guys will be too definitely recommend so far this watch but i'm going to do a full review on this thing soon um maybe by next week but anyway guys beautiful watch looks like a decent clasp um bracelets you know a little little chintzy but i mean it's there probably gonna be comfortable um and for the low price they're asking for this i don't think you can ask for anything more all right guys that's all i have for today um Please uh, like, subscribe, any comments. And remember, like, if this homages anything, please leave that in the comments. And then, look, I'm, I'm just getting into this video game. So um, if you guys have any comments about how I can improve um, on these videos, please do leave a comment. All right. Talk to you soon. Bye.